Before I say anything, I just want to say thanks so much for coming on this journey of car camping with me. Uh, I know it makes Dave feel a lot better to know that I will be recording regularly and I will be going live during my trip as well. outfitting the car. So you saw me putting together my little kitchen and I was really surprised. I got my kitchen and more into that little box and, and I've still got a little bit of space for my tea and my honey. So like I've even got my cup in there and any mixing bowl I'm going to use. I've got wipes. I've got hooks. I've got clamps. I've got all kinds of stuff that I'll be using probably every day in and out of that kitchen box. So yeah, that's going to be super handy. And I, like I said, I'll show you more of that when I get on the road. But today I'm here and I'm back in the car again. And it is time to test out my bed and see, uh, well, there's a couple of things that I want to see. One, I want to see if it fits in one side of the car. And if I need to have, whether or not I need to have both seats down. Because that's going to make a lot of difference as to how I lay things out. So, thanks again for being here. If you haven't, you should subscribe and come along this journey with me. Uh, this is just the preparation now because this is not something I've done. And as you know, it's going to be a no build um, transformation because, I mean, we use this car all the time. And I probably will not be doing a bunch of car camping in my future. Although you never know, I could turn out that I absolutely love it. And, you know, Dave has already said, no, you're on your own if you love it. As you know, there's this lump here. And I'm not going to worry about that today. I will be doing something about that when I am traveling. I'll be packing it with some blankets and possibly like my yoga mat and a few other things that I'll put under there to level that off a little bit. What I want to know is how wide this mattress is going to be when I lay it out and can I, uh, I don't think I can have it up. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to have I think I'm going to need to have both seats down. So, that does change a few things. I wonder, should I blow it up, do you think? Well, I'm going to try blowing it up and see what happens and see if I actually need to let down that other side. And then I'm going to try a few different ways of getting in and out of the car and in and out of my bed so that I can practice and know how I'm going to get in and out if I have to go to the bathroom or when I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So, uh, yeah, hang on. We'll get right to that. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'm going to have to put the other seat down because I plan on leaving my bed up all the time. And so I'm going to do that and then play with this layout a little bit more. And then I'm going to work on some shade uh, once I see what's the easiest way to get in and out of this bed. <laughs> a lot of room. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting it to take up quite so much room. Now there is a little bit of room over here and on the other side there is as well. But uh, let's see how hard it is to get in and out of here. <laughs> oh, Dave would be laughing. Dave is laughing, I'm sure, because he'll see this. I don't think I'll very often be getting in and out from the back because this is this is not this is not gonna work. Plus the back door doesn't actually have a handle release on it. So I can't open the back door anyway. Uh, from the inside. I would have to do it from the outside. So that's going to make a whole difference. So let's try it from the side. It's going to be easier for getting in and out. And now I guess I just have to decide. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. <sighs> now I guess I just have to decide what side of the bed or what side of the car I'm going to put the bed on. Or if I'm going to set it right down the middle. <laughs> 
that bed is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I think if I push it right up against one side of the car, I'd be able to have 10, maybe 12 inches uh, between that and the other edge of the car. So, you know, it's going to work. It's going to work. And I'm sure I'm going to be able to get all my stuff in there. But I don't know that I'm going to be able to leave it blown up every day, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. Uh, I can leave the stuff laying under it. I can, I mean, it, it inflates in like a minute and a half, if that, and deflates just as quickly. So, you know, I can, I can pull the stuff off of it because there will be stuff laying on it during the day while I'm traveling, right? I mean, my chair is, is actually fairly large and, um, I'm taking it anyway because because it's the only one I have <laughs> and it is pretty darn comfortable so uh, it, you know but there are other things as well right that are going to be laying on top of that during the day like my my uh, reflectix that I have for my window that's got to have somewhere to go and so I'm just gonna lay it flat on top of the bed but anyway so I'll just deflate the bed every night or every morning um, while I'm traveling, not of course when I'm parked for four days, but, but when I'm traveling, I can just deflate it every day and then put everything in on top of it that needs to sit on top of it. And I don't have to go worry about it going all wonky because, um, it's waving around on an air mattress, right? So yeah, that is, I guess, going to be my plan for a bed. Of course I do have, like I've got, um, I've got a yoga mat, I've got some other mats, and then I've got a blanket or two that I'm going to put underneath the air mattress, which will really help with going on my knees. Because <laughs> as you saw in that video, there was that one part where I was climbing on my knees and that hurt. So yeah, I'll have a little bit of padding under there for my poor delicate little self. <laughs> Anyway, I guess that's my vlog for today. I don't have a whole lot going on. The garden is growing. We're having a bit of a heat wave, so I'm mostly staying inside. I'll go out and I'm going to film a tour of the garden later today, but I'm going to wait till it cools off before I go and do that. Oh my gosh, it's already 6 p.m. That's crazy. The day is gone. <laughs> Well, not quite, because we still got another four hours of light, or three and a half anyway, so we can still get stuff done. Another hour, it'll be cooled off enough outside, I can go outside. and Yeah, oh my gosh, here I'm talking about it being cooled off at night, because it might have hit, I think it hit like 89 outside today, or 87 or something. I haven't checked in a while, but uh, yeah, I've been sitting in here in the nice, cool house. <laughs> uh, I've got the temperature set at, I think, 78, which is a nice, comfortable temperature, I find. And yeah, <laughs> then I think of my poor friends who are in 100 degree weather uh, already at this time of year, and I really do feel for you. Especially, like, my garden is really nice to work on in the evening because it gets shaded back there and it's I can do a better be a better judge of how much water anything needs if anything needs water and I'll show you how I do that actually in my garden tour that I go out to later tonight but so I better get this wrapped up and in the bag and say thank you again for taking this bit of a journey with me uh it's interesting sharing it with other people. I, I imagine you can probably see that I'm getting more excited as it gets closer and closer, but still a few weeks out or a couple of weeks out, I think now. I think we're getting to be a couple of weeks out or I don't know, something. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am a little nervous because I haven't traveled by myself in a long, 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 long time. Um, but it'll be fine. I'm sticking to main routes. I'm not, it's not like I'm going off into the wilderness somewhere. I'm sticking to a main traveled highway and I'm staying in provincial parks or I'm staying in private campgrounds and, or in the city campground when I'm at my final destination. And so, you know, I mean, what could go wrong? 
I, I mean, things could go wrong. I have BCAA, which is uh, roadside assistance up here in Canada or up here in British Columbia, and that will also work for me in Alberta should I need it. So if I have any car problems or anything, that's that's taken care of. Um, yeah, what else have people mentioned that they might, I, I know people have mentioned that they'd be worried about me traveling on my own, but like I said, I will be very careful. I will be very careful and, uh, I'm not going, you know, I'm not sleeping in Walmart parking lots and not that there's anything wrong with sleeping in Walmart parking lots. Uh, if I was, if I wasn't traveling by myself at, you know, almost 60 years old, maybe I'd consider it, but yeah, I'm not going to do that this trip <laughs> because I'm not comfortable with it. And um, yeah, when I consider how much money I'm saving on not staying in hotels every night, because I'm not going to push it. I mean, I know a lot of people who drive from Vancouver Island to Alberta in two days and some even who push it and do it in one day. But I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm going to drive maybe six hours a day. Uh, a little, maybe a little over six hours a day, and, and that's going to be it. And I will stop, of course, during those six hours and show you guys where I'm going and where I'm stopping. And, you know, I'll probably zip through the city of Vancouver, although I'll try to tape some of that for people who would like to see it from the highway. There's a couple of really cool bridges uh, that you go under. So those are kind of cool if you're into that kind of thing. Anyway, I keep shaking this again, and I'm really sorry about that. I have to, <laughs> I have to like, tie my hands down or something, so I'm not tapping uh, my desk. Anyway, yeah, I better get out of here today because I still got to rip a couple of chickens apart that I cooked in the Instant Pot today, so we have some chicken meat for the next few days for sandwiches or tacos or whatever we decide to eat. And I got to get out and tend to the garden. I don't think anything will need any water. We've we've been rain, 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 rain for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I think, I believe this is our third day of sunshine in a row. So I don't think anything will be hurting too badly for water. Maybe the onions because they're right on the surface. So they probably need a little sprinkling once it gets shaded out there. Anyway, I'll go out and check that. And... I'll see you soon. Uh, I, I am doing some tests. I'm going to do a review on the tarp that I purchased. So I've got that coming up. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, oh, I'm going to do a review on the power source that I'm going to have. Uh, it's one of the ones that we got for the house for emergency situations. And it's small enough that I'm going to be able to take it with you, with me. So I'll show you what I'll have for power, even in places where there are no, there is no power, like the final destination where I'm going to. It, there is no power there. There are bathrooms and running water and showers and everything, but there is no electricity. So I'm gonna bring my own so that I can keep in contact with all of you and my husband and how thankful I am for technology for this trip coming up. Anyway, before I keep babbling on and on and on, <laughs> take good care of yourself uh, and indulge yourself once in a while. Do something that you really want to do. I will see you soon. Bye now.